Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This will be a message for the days December 16th through the 31st of December 2019 for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general reading, so it won't resonate with every Gemini out there, so you can check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. Um, I know you're new here because I just started my channel, so just so you know, I do uh, general spreads. There are six card spreads, and I do clarify and use the bottom of the deck as kind of like the heart of the matter or the main message. So let's see what we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 16th through the 31st. Alright, let's get started. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, Nine of Cups, okay. Queen of Cups, the High Priestess. Wow, we're getting some serious major arcanas here. And the Chariot. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower. So this is going to be kind of the main message here, which this makes perfect sense. We just had a new full moon on December 12th. All right, so basically the first thing I'm getting here with the tower is an unexpected change or an unexpected event, something that has toppled a foundation of something. This could be related to work, a friendship, a relationship, your finances. Uh, it can mean any of those things. And um, with the tower, it's like a shakeup that had to happen in order for something new to begin. So I feel like with the tower and then moving on right to Wheel of Fortune, it's like this was meant to happen. This is divine uh, especially with temperance here as well. This is divinely guided. So, uh, Gemini's, this is something that spirit and the divine wants to happen. And um, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, there's like a new cycle. I almost feel like it ha the tower had to happen for this Wheel of Fortune to take place. And Wheel of Fortune is, you know, the fate being on our side the wheel turning, uh, and things changing. Um, we have temperance here. Temperance is the sign of Sagittarius, but temperance is also um, kind of being balanced, being patient, waiting on the divine. This is, this is an angel here that is kind of taking, taking care of things, almost like a sign that you have to let go and let God or higher power uh, take over and you have to kind of just go with it go with the flow um, I also have nine of cups here so nine of cups is all about wish fulfillment contentment happiness this is someone that has worked really hard for those cups that are stacked behind them and so I feel like all of these things are kind of falling into place um, and it's all being divinely guided so I feel like these are very important messages um, and as a Gemini sun myself, I'm also a Gemini Venus. I am very excited to see this spread. Um, right here, I have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, she's very nurturing. She's very loving. She's abundant, emotionally stable. Um, it could be that this is in regards to someone that you're interested in, or it could be you in a relationship, or, or just the, the, the mindset that you have right now is one of abundance and stability. Uh, emotionally. Maybe you've been in tune with your emotions recently and I feel that the reason I say this is because I have the high priestess right next to it. So this is all about using your intuition, um, having knowledge, the uncovering of something, the realization of something. So I feel like all of these are connected and then we end with the chariot 
sign of cancer. But for me, I feel like this is just movement, moving forward. Victory. So I really love this spread. I almost don't want to clarify, but I'm going to. And I'm going to start with the tower. Tell me about the tower, please, for Gemini. Tell me about the tower for Gemini. Tell me about the tower. I really feel like this tower has to do with the, the moon. This kind of like cosmic event that's been happening for uh, Gemini's in particular, um, but for everybody. Six of Wands. So I feel like this tower is going to bring about recognition, um, victory of some sort. And this is something you've been waiting for. Bottom of the deck, Three of Wands. I feel like this is all kind of connected here. Um, again, I this is a general reading, so this could be in terms of relationships, finances, work. It could mean any of those things. I feel like something has come down in order for something new to begin. Um, and it's going to bring about success. I have Six of Wands and a Nine of Cups here. Ah, let's look at this Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I'm just going to take that. Wow. Ace of Pentacles just came out of the deck there. Um, I'm going to put it here next to the Wheel of Fortune because I was thinking about it as I was shuffling. Um, this is an offer. Uh, this is, could be a tangible offer of some sort. This could be a promotion. It could be an engagement. It could be a proposal of maybe starting a partnership. Um, this is just some the universe almost coming out and handing you this Bitcoin. I really feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, it's like divine is at play here to bring about this abundance, this huge pinnacle. And for some reason, I just can't help but think that that it's almost like it was out of our hands a little bit. Like we didn't even know that the divine was going to gift us something like this, or we didn't know that maybe our efforts were going to give us this type of stability, this type of financial abundance, this type of promotion. Um, I feel like this is something that Gemini's you've been thinking about and wishing for with nine of cups here, but something just keeps telling me that it, it's even better than you imagined. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Wands. So this could be standing up for something that you believe in, um, standing up, uh, kind of like not giving up, fighting. And I feel like with the Seven of Wands here, it's almost like you didn't give up on this dream, this idea of what your life could be like. You haven't given up on the future that you've set for yourself and what you've worked hard for. And I feel like because we've been like protecting ourselves and guiding ourselves and, and standing up for ourselves and what we believe in and want, I feel like the universe is now rewarding Geminis. Tell me about temperance. Temperance is one of my favorite major arcanas. Um, not only is it like beautiful imagery, but it's just such a feeling of zen and... Um, you know, like a very balanced energy. This person is not worried about anything. They just trust and let go. And I feel like it brings about this peace that I think a lot of us are looking for. King of Cups. So maybe you've been waiting for a King of Cups. This could be you. This could be someone you are um in some sort of partnership or union with um it could also mean that i mean you could be waiting for someone like this to be in your life or you could be waiting to be this person king of cups is someone who is very emotionally grounded in tune with their emotions um successful just because they're an emotional person and they can tap into their emotions doesn't make them any less of an authority figure. I mean, this is a king, right? He has also a big cup in his hand, and I don't think that it's an accident that we have temperance here with two cups back and forth. Um, 
I feel like also this could mean that this is a new emotional, um, um, your emotions are healthier now. You're in a, in a healthier mindset, a healthier um, spiritual level. Um, and it could have been brought about by this moon, or it could just be that, you know, circumstances have made it so that in your past, you maybe had to deal with some things. You've had a tower moment that's either happening or about to happen. And I feel like you're going to be, uh, in a better mind mindset to, to handle whatever's coming your way. It's beautiful energy. Under the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. I'm sorry for the glare, you guys. These cards are very glossy, and um, I'm right in front of a window. So, Queen of Wands, this is somebody that is a go-getter. Um, they take action. They are very passionate about what they believe in and go after their dreams. And I love that this is right with a, Queen of, a King of Cups energy because, like I've been saying, just because you're in tune with your emotions, there's strength in that. Um, sometimes when we're in tune with our emotions and we know what we want and we can single out the dreams that we're trying to achieve, we are more successful. Tell me about this nine of cups. Tell me about the nine of cups, please, for Gemini. Tell me about the nine of Ten of Wands. I feel like the, with the Ten of Wands, this is somebody that, um, first of all, I think it's very important that this is a ten. Tens are all about completion, ending of something. Um, I feel like you're, you've recently dropped something that was weighing you down, or you're on your way to drop something that's kind of been a burden to you. Maybe this is something that's held you back all this time and now with this tower moment it's like the way has been cleared out for you and I think with the fact that this is right next to a nine of cups it's like you had to drop this burden down to then almost like look at how these cards are this person is almost at their at the finish line right they're walking towards the finish line where they're gonna drop this burden and then I feel like you're just gonna sit pretty <laughs> almost like I have accomplished what I want to accomplish. And it might have been hard. You know, it, it might have taken some time to get to the finish line. And it was, you know, weighing down on me. But at the same time, sometimes that's what it takes. I am loving this reading so far. Let's look at the bottom of the deck just because I'm curious. <laughs> Empress. Love it. Empress is all about love, abundance, fertility, motherhood, beauty. Um, but most importantly, she is someone that grows a harvest. There's greenery all around her, you know. She's planted seeds, and now they're growing. It's time to harvest is what I just heard. All right, let's see what's up with this Queen of Cups. I love that there's Queen of Cups and King of Cups on the board. Um, especially for us Geminis, because we are not the most, I don't want to say we're not the most emotional people, because everyone can be an emotional person, there's all kinds of emotions, but typically we're more of the thinkers, the logic, the kind of back and forth, uh, the weighing of options, you know, we're very flighty and impulsive, and um, sometimes people don't know that deep down we are king of cups queen of cups energy right like we might not appear to be that way but some of us are and i feel like that's a strength that um i know i personally i'm not going to speak for anybody but i personally have learned that being in tune with my emotions is not such a negative thing um so i kind of love that there's queen of cups and king of cups on the board because it's kind of reminding me of uh emotional strength it's, i just keep thinking of emotional strength of how this burden, this tower that we've been, you know, whatever we've been working towards um, have might have taken a toll on our emotions, but I feel like it has helped us overcome. Also, if this is resonating with someone that's in a relationship, this is King of Cups, Queen of Cups. They're a very powerful couple. 
This could be, um, you know, taking place here with uh, someone that you're interested in, in a, um, in an emotional way, uh, someone that you have a union with that's very stable, like you're both very in tune with who you are as people. This could be something you want. Uh, this could be something you're working towards. Maybe you've recently met someone and they exhibit these qualities. But let's see. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, please. Wow. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. I love it because this is everything that I've been saying. This is somebody that has made an investment. They've planted seeds and they're kind of waiting to see if they're going to grow. I feel like maybe some of us Gemini's have been in doubt about if we made the right decision, if we chose the right job, the right person, the right situation, the right place to live, whatever it is. I feel like there has been doubt of our investments and I feel like we've been waiting for it to grow and that Empress showed up before this card here. So I think whatever we've been waiting for, it's, it's, it's being orchestrated by the universe here. Bottom of the deck, <laughs> Ace of Wands. I love it. I just love it. <laughs> Look at these cards together. This is someone that's not even looking behind them, right? They're not even aware of the new beginning that's going to happen. They're focused on their pinnacles, something that they've worked really hard on, um, and they don't even realize what's coming down right this new beginning this new new um opportunity i have ace of pentacles and ace of wands here i love it tell me about the high priestess please for gemini tell me about the high priestess the high priestess tell me about the high priestess knight of swords so there's something coming in um, it could be a message of some sort. It could be just a, uh, because swords are all about communication and truth. Or it could just be a realization because I have High Priestess here. High Priestess, she's, she's someone that is intuitive. She intuitively knows um, about secrets, mystery. Um, there's, there's, she's using her intuition. And also, she's kind of looking up from the Torah, kind of like, you know, I have the answers. I could give them to you right away, but I think you should also use your own intuition and, and kind of decipher what's going on. That's how I see the high priestess. And she is very, a very um, serene, powerful person. I feel like there's something coming in, some sort of truth that maybe you already expected. That could be just for some of you, though. Some of you might not see this coming at all. I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck just to see. Two of Pentacles. So something that's going to, whatever you hear, it's going to cause you to make a decision. You're going to be weighing your options here. Give me one more for Knight of Swords and High Priestess, please. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Swords, this, he's galloping, right? He's coming in hot star more major arcana this is a sign of aquarius it's a sign of hope i love that we have the star and the nine of cups here so i feel like whatever message you're going to get you were hoping to get it okay let's look at this cherry let me just move this over let's see what's going on with this chariot Tell me about the chariot for Gemini. Yeah. Tell me about the chariot for Gemini, please. There's a chariot here. Page of Wands. I feel like, yeah, you, yeah, you are definitely taking action. Probably because of this news and this tower. Um... Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. <laughs> I love it. I love that we have Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups on this deck. A lot of cups, guys. 
um, I feel like with the Page of Wands here, this is somebody that could be interested in you romantically, or it could just be that you are ready to take action on something. This is the spark of something. Let me see what kind, if I can get one more card. Give me, and I feel like whatever this spark is, is going to bring you this Ten of Cups. Um, utmost happiness, fulfillment, joy, family. Ten of Cups to me is like, um, kind of like you've reached the pinnacle, right? And it's another ten, by the way. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands, please. Three of Cups. It could be a reunion of some sort, or it could be um, a celebration of something. Chariot, this is a, um, a victor in, of battle that has come on his chariot. It could mean travel. It can mean movement. Moving forward, though. This is someone that's looking ahead. I feel like whatever this Page of Wands is about, um, it could be interpreted in several ways. Because, again, this is a general reading. And I'm trying to read the cards as to, to fit as many people as possible. Because there are always different scenarios that could happen. Um, but, since you know, you have to think this, gen this reading is very positive so far. I mean, this has been an amazing reading for Gemini uh, for the last two weeks of December. And I feel like with this Three of Cups, like these are people that are getting together to celebrate, to toast. Um, they're partying. They're, you know, this is this is all about kind of coming together to, to celebrate. And I think also with the Six of Wands here, very similar energies here. Beautiful reading. I love it. And at the bottom of the deck, perfect way to round this out. Death. Sign of Scorpio. But to me, with death and the tower here, this is all about a transformation. I feel like a transformation that has been brought about is divinely guided and was probably began or probably began because of this moon on December 12th. Um, very exciting energy. Um, I know that sometimes for some of you, I just feel like I need to say this. Sometimes we're terrified of change, of uprooting, of transforming. Um, but when it's divinely guided, I feel like we need to trust and let go and believe that things will work out in our favor. Look at these cards here. You know, this this is a clear message here. The wheels are turning in our favor, and we need to just trust and let go and be patient that this pentacle is going to come in. Whatever it is for you, whatever it is, is going to be transformative. Beautiful reading. So I'm going to leave it there, Geminis. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If this resonated with you, please hit that like button or subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in another reading.